Hi everyone, my name is J.R. Payne. I'm an English major, poli-sci minor, and I'm currently in my sophomore year. I did my article review on an article titled, America's Shift in Color Line, Reexamining Determinants of Latino Racial Self-Identification, which was written by Atia Kai Stokes Brown and was first published in 2012. My article review centers itself around how Stokes Brown addresses Latino self-identification within her article. The topic of Latino self-identification is not something new to us, seeing as we have covered it while we are learning about the different Latino groups that have had immigrants migrating to the United States. As we know, the United States is a popular country to immigrate to, with a lot of immigrants coming from the uh, different Latino populations. Despite this, America's racial hierarchy is mainly divided into a black and white dichotomy. As written in Stokes Brown's article, when introduced to American society, Latinos and other immigrants typically have to work themselves into the black and white classification system. One of her main objectives is to figure out why Latinos do not constitute as their own racial group, despite being the nation's largest minority group. Her introduction and the first portion of her text sums up the recent changes that American demographics have undergone. Along with this, she includes background information regarding how Latinos tend to identify themselves. As cited in her article, and according to the 2010 census, 53% of Latinos living in America self-identified as white, 2% identified themselves as black, 37% as SORs or some other race, and the remainder writing in Latino or their nations of origin. Which brings us to another one of her objectives, which is to figure out what influences identity formation amongst the Latino community. This is important seeing as how the majority of Latinos identify themselves as white and self-identification as black uh, had the lowest percentage amongst the categories. The overall mode of writing in her essay is explanatory, and after this lengthy introduction, the bulk of her article is based on her own research of the topic, utilized to explain the self-identification process amongst Latinos. Methods used was the utilization of the 2006 Latino National Survey and other research based around the topic in order to accomplish her research and make conclusions of her own. The dependent variable of her study is racial identification, which she makes sure to describe as separate from ethnicity in the case of Latinos living within the United States. She has five independent variables, which include national origin, phenotype, and other demographic factors, social economic status, discrimination dependent upon location, commonality and linked fate, and acculturation slash assimilation. Uh, the results of her research says that although she does not pinpoint a specific cause of the formation of one's identity, her research affirms what we already know. This being that multiple factors play into the formation of such and are oftentimes interrelated. Stokes Brown believes that the growth of the Latino population in the United States will continue to raise questions on how they will integrate within American society. And her conclusion centers itself around the shifting of the color line and believes and she believes that regardless of how Latinos choose to self-identify, the line will eventually shift. While there is never any certainty on what will actually happen in the future regarding the ever-shifting racial hierarchy in America, Stokes Brown asserts that one thing remains certain, that the formation of one's identity is different for every Latino individual, whether they identify themselves as such or not. 
In response to how they will fit into the black and white paradigm, Stokes Brown puts forth three common but differing perspectives. The first is the possibility that Latinos will assimilate themselves within the non-white half of the binary, becoming just another racialized and marginalized minority group considered peoples of color. The second states that Latinos may be incorporated into an expanding category of what or who is considered white, which currently is expanding to incorporate Asians living in America. And the third perspective offers the belief that they will will constitute a third intermediary group that places itself somewhere between the white dominating racial group and the socially lower ranked group of non-whites and blacks. I really like the way that Stokes Brown structures her essay. In order to ascertain which factors are significant or the inverse in the cultivation and proclamation of one's identity, she conducts research of her own. Before going straight into her research, however, she uses other previous research articles and uh, censuses and other information-based texts to give foundation to her research, and she appeals to Logos by using this past research to inform the readers of her essay's topic and information that they need to know. Furthermore, her essay opens with the objective she will focus on throughout the text and through the research mentioned above, she gives her readers background information. Uh, then she moves into her own research and I think it was uh, really good uh, giving uh, g general arguments and uh, naming points of address. Overall, I think it was an effect. It was effective in the assessment of Latino struggle to identify themselves and informing readers on how and what goes into the these identities being formed. Thank you for your time.